everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you can't already tell by the title of this video, I am pregnant and Jack and I will be expecting our first baby in July. I wanted to start documenting my journey throughout my first pregnancy so I thought I'd start with my first trimester and then we can make our way through to the second and the third and I'm also planning on doing some other um, pregnancy and going into parenthood content because I have been loving those videos, so stay tuned for those. So in this video, I'm going to be talking through my first trimester, trying to conceive, symptoms, and I've also asked Jack some questions too. His answers are quite interesting. Before I actually get into this video, I just feel like it's only right to add a trigger warning that I will be talking about things such as loss and vomiting. So if those things aren't for you, then that is fine, but I really suggest you don't continue watching. Right, let's start with trying to conceive slash TTC, whatever you may know it as. Now, a question that Jack and I have been asked a lot since announcing we were pregnant is if it was planned. And the answer is yes, it was planned. Now, Jack and I for around two years, maybe last year, always said that we would start trying or whatever you'd like to call it um, in October with it in mind that if that went to plan we'd have a summer baby. Now we're not naive, we are very aware that um, it's very unlikely <laughs> that these dates were going to match up but if we had a baby in December that is also fine. It was just like in an ideal world because Jack and I are both summer babies and if you've got a birthday in the summer, you'll know how fun it is. So that's what we always had in mind. So um, at the start of the year, I really started paying attention to um, my cycle. I downloaded the Flow app and that really told me when I was ovulating on my first, um, not my first, sorry, my most fertile days. And from then until October time, I really started to understand my body and get like a clear picture of when um, those best days for us were. Now, my highest chance of conceiving was actually on the night of our engagement party. <laughs> so when I say trying, actually this night we didn't specifically say, right, let's do this now to get your get your camera out was going to say definitely not <laughs> get the clock out like the clock's ticking go on i said clock by the way oh it's my train of thought now yes because it was our engagement party we were celebrating love it just so happened that that happened to be the night that we <laughs> conceived and i know jack also feels really lucky too but i especially feel so grateful that this happened for us first time because I know that for some people this takes months, sometimes even years and yeah, I still actually can't believe this happened for us first time. Um, so yeah, that's something that I am very, very grateful for and <laughs> I still can't believe that. So I'm actually, I almost want to be a little bit sensitive around the whole trying to conceive because um, I understand that some people really do have to try and like I said in our case um yeah we feel very lucky. I feel like I should mention that I also haven't been on any birth control for around three and a half years now um for other reasons we were obviously being careful in different ways or I feel like we'd have quite a few babies by now um but I don't know if that had an impact on why it happened so quickly for us. I also also started taking folic acid in um, September and cut back on caffeine. But other than that, I have no idea how and why it happened so quickly for us. I just thought it may be worth adding this part into the video. From the day of ovulation to the day that I knew I could first test, which I think is around two to three weeks, I think, I can't remember. 
God, it felt like the longest wait of my life. And there were so many little things that me and Jack were saying like, oh, you definitely are, or this hasn't happened before. But also, girls, I feel like you probably relate that I have these moments about three times a year where I'm like, I haven't gone on my period for an hour. Am I pregnant? So I didn't know if it was my brain tricking me or if this was actually happening. Um, but the day that I could actually test, Jack was working abroad and I thought I could either wait and we could do it together or I can surprise him. So he was away and I woke up at about 5 a.m. It was just me here and um, I took the test and it was just the most surreal and exciting and it felt like time just froze around me moment. It was just, yeah, you'll know maybe you'll know um yeah it can just be a really magical moment and being able to surprise Jack when he got back from his work trip was just yeah really really special so I'm so glad that I got to do it in that way and ah I keep getting emotional why do I feel like I'm getting emotional thinking about that I also feel like from the day of my test to the day of our, we actually had an early scan and then a 12 week scan, but till both of those is actually been really nerve wracking. Um, Jack and I experienced a loss very, very early on in our relationship. And those were emotions that I've dealt with and yeah, have put aside and I really didn't want to go through that again. So yeah, up until now, and actually still now really, um, it's quite a nerve wracking time. So if you have any tips for me on just how to maybe stop worrying, I'm not sure, then please let me know because I'd love to be able to share tips too. And like I've just said, I need them myself. So <laughs> I'm open to being help. Okay, let's get into my symptoms. I've definitely had plenty of them and I'd say that they started before I actually got that positive test. As I just said, there are a couple of things that I was suspicious about, but the main one was a day that Jack and I went on a dog walk and our dog Ives was just being such an angel that the only thing I knew to do was just burst out crying. And this dog has made me cry of happiness quite a few times actually because I just love her. Um, but the way that I cried on this dog walk was bizarre. So that is the symptom that I had before I tested. I was just highly emotional and I'm also, I should add, that I'm on tablets that um, suppress quite a lot of my emotions. So for me to be able to cry like that over my dog doing some tricks and behaving well was Firstly, suspicious. Secondly, quite nice. <laughs> okay, the symptoms that I'm going to talk about now were after I received, received? Well, after I got that um, positive pregnancy test and knew that I was pregnant. So the first one was just being so exhausted. Now I'm quite a high energy person. Um, I mean, I, I like going to bed early and I like waking up early. That's kind of my routine. However, it completely switched. I feel like I'm gonna yawn now. Oh my God. It's because I'm looking at my notes and it's a <laughs> yawn on it. Um, oh, my eyes are watering. It completely changed because I was going to bed. I was wanting to go to bed early. I was waking up really late. And then I spent the whole day yawning more than I was talking. I was exhausted. I could nap anywhere. Oh my God. I mean, right now I, I actually still feel tired. Um, but them first couple of weeks were like nothing I've ever experienced. And before anyone says to me, oh, you just wait, please don't say that to someone who's pregnant because it's horrible. <laughs> I know I'm going to be tired when I have a baby. I'm just... Let me be tired now too. The second symptom I had were, <laughs> I'm going to say no. Uh. The second symptom I had slash I'm still having is extremely sore boobs. When I say extremely sore, I've gone up four cup sizes in three months and 
that isn't a pleasant experience. Um, I, I mean, unless you want that. I was fine before, <laughs> but yeah, I'm in pain. I don't know what I'm gonna be like in six months time, but yeah really saw if you couldn't tell that I was pregnant by my belly then you definitely could have told by these because oh, they're swollen. Another symptom that I have experienced and I think my worst symptom is nausea. Oh I experienced this from literally the I swear the day I got that positive test up until well really kind of now I couldn't eat anything, it was making me feel sick. If I didn't eat anything, I felt sick. The smell of things made me feel sick. The sight of things made me feel sick. Going into M&S, the smell even now makes me feel sick. Avocados, I was obsessed with avocados. The thought, the sight, the word makes me feel sick. There was nothing I could do to help me. Um, I've discovered now that snacking throughout the day really helps and I was also having a lot of Sprite and mints. So if you're going through that, try it. But oh, it was really, really rough. The next one is food aversions. Now I'd love to say that I was one of those people that were craving weird things like pickles or some people crave coal or sponges bricks but I've had none of those I've actually been the complete opposite and I have gone off of everything not only because of the nausea but things that I'd usually love like marmite or um like I said avocado completely went off of them and I'd occasionally get things that I really fancied but halfway through them I didn't want to know about it and then the thought of it I can't explain. If you're watching this and you've not been pregnant, you're gonna think I'm a lunatic, but it's just the weirdest thing. I went off of so much and only now, you could put an avocado in front of me and I'd probably be all right now, but then, whew, get it away. No, I feel like I'm not all right. Even thinking about it right now, I can feel bloating. I feel like bloating has always been my enemy. I have stomach problems anyway, and I bloat after a sip of water, I can end up looking pregnant. But really, I think four weeks, I must've been about four weeks, and I looked like I had a bump. I know it wasn't the baby, it was literally bloat. But by about, honestly, four weeks, so a month pregnant, my clothes started not being able to fit and I actually became conscious that you could see and tell I was pregnant because I was bloating that much and it's really uncomfortable. I felt like, you know that feeling after you've had Christmas dinner and all you wanna do is nap, like you just feel swollen? That was me all the time. And bear in mind, I wasn't really eating much. I was just a puffer fish basically. I don't know how to title this one, but I've had like weird food spells. So I wrote some of my symptoms down in real time and I've got them here on my phone and it still cracks me up because I've just put on one of them, I want to stuff my mouth with McDonald's chips and I want to suck on a salty McDonald's chip. And really I remember that is all I could think about in that moment. And Jack kindly took me to McDonald's and I did do that, the chips in the mouth. And yeah, I feel very grateful that Jack done that, but I, I don't think he done it out of kindness. I think he done it to just shut me up. Another weird food spell, I don't really know what to call it. It's like an unusual food thing, I guess, is the thought of seafood. I just, really want to eat seafood. I'm a vegetarian. I haven't had seafood in four years, but the thought of prawns and mussels and cockles and whelks and crab sticks and lobster, I feel like I'm gonna crack. But I've been a vegetarian for so long. Why now? Whoa. I could just, just think about it. I just wanna eat it. I'll keep you updated on that one. I've got a lot of vegan friends who watch my videos, so I'm sorry. It's what I fancy. 
There's actually a lot more symptoms that I have written down on my phone. I feel like they're quite obvious. Emotional, bad temper. Um, what else did I write? Short fuse. <sighs> Poor Jack, basically. Oh, actually, talking of Jack, as I just said, I did ask Jack some questions that I saw on other um, first trimester videos. And yeah, what a good time to get into his answers. Okay, first question, and I am gonna have my phone in front of me because I definitely can't remember these. Um, I asked him, is there anything that has surprised you during the first trimester? And he said, I'm surprised at how tired it has made you and how much more sleep that you have needed, as I said. He's been very responsible for a lot of the things that we've needed to do, like walking the dog, cooking dinner. So thank you, Jack. Um, and he put, oh, and also the size of the bump already. Now, I'm not sure if he's talking when I was bloated, <laughs> I already looked pregnant, or now. Um, again, I think some of it is bloat. Obviously there's water and a placenta and a baby. So I do have a bump, um, but by the end of the night, we're both looking at my belly like, well, is it twins, triplets? No, it's not, by the way. <laughs> uh, the second question is, is there anything that you have struggled with during the first trimester? And he put, no struggles for me really, that is all on you. But I feel like that's a bit of a fib because I feel like I've been his struggle. I've definitely made it a little bit of a struggle. I know I have, but thank you for being polite. <laughs> and the last question is, what has been your favorite moment of the first trimester? And he put, my favorite moment was telling our parents and getting the scans. And I completely agree. They were also my favorite moments. And yeah, both really magical and things that I will remember forever. So thank you, Jack, for answering your questions. Maybe we'll do, yeah, we should do that in trimester two and trimester three, because I feel like maybe by those trimesters, he won't be being as polite. There we go. I cannot believe I have just filmed my first trimester video. I cannot believe I am not a 14 year old anymore. I can't believe I'm pregnant. I can't believe I'm gonna be a mum. Yeah, I'm really going through that on my Lord face, but we'll talk about that in the second trimester video. I feel like I should have told you to grab some snacks and a cup of tea before you watch this video because I feel like I have completely rambled on. However, I hope that everything I have spoken about or glimpses of things that I've spoken about have been helpful to you or will be helpful to you. And I am very much open to tips as I head into my second trimester. So if you have any parenting tips or tips on how to just get through these next couple of months, then please do comment down below because yes, every tip is helpful and welcomed. But thank you so much for watching this video. As I've said, I've already got quite a few ideas for my next couple of videos. So if you're interested, then please do subscribe and I will see you in my next video.